Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the YE381 3-in-1 laminator. It's a laminator, it's a trimmer, three types of trimmer, and a corner rounder. Um, I bought it because I laminated a lot of traveler's notebook covers and I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect. Well, I'm the world's worst for reading instructions or reading the descriptions. Actually, I did read the description on this one. But anyway, um, if you can see here the measurements, they don't, I'm still going to have to pre-cut because it's not enough for a traveler's notebook. Um, these are supposed to be grids where you can cut at different d angles, which I'm not going to be using that. Um, I like it for certain reasons, and I really am dissatisfied with it for certain reasons. First of all, all right, I'm going to cut it back on. I had to turn it off because it heats up really fast. And I now have it on cold instead of on hot. Um, you have a cold and hot setting on and off. Back here is your corner rounder. Now, I thought it was going to be an automatic corner rounder. And I was just sticking paper in and shoving it, and no. It is just a little pop-out clicker that you get for $3 everywhere. So, I'm not happy about that. Um, but, you know, I like the fact it has three different cuts. I like that I can do the um, perforated, which I may or may not use often. The wavy cut is not really a wavy cut. It's more of a, um, what do you call it? You know, this little designer scissors that does this little boop boop. Anyway, here's the straight cut. Now, here's something else I don't like about it. Watch this. You have to push down on this to cut. Oh, well, before it wouldn't cut backwards, and I was doing it. All right. So, we have this. All right, now I'm going to, you have to lift this up and turn. Lift this little thing up and turn to get your different cuts. Um, and then push this back down. And then push this down. <laughs> Did I get? Did I get any? Yeah, I got to perforate it that time. So, yes, you know, if you use these, that's not too bad. Now, let me lift it up, turn it to get the wavy cut. Now, you know, us in the crafting world, we know the difference between wavy cuts. I was assuming it was going to be a wavy cut. It's just this little serrated edge thing. So, yeah. It's wavy, but it's tiny. So, I mean, it'd be cute to do on cards and stuff or tabs and all. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not happy. It was expensive. That's why I'm not happy. I mean, for a laminator. I'm not happy with this. It's a very small corner rounder. That they sell in Walmart, and it's blue for three dollars and thirty-three cent. It doesn't give you any options for different sizes. It's just a little click laminate corner rounder, which you know it's okay because I had misplaced mine while we were camping. I'll come across it sooner or later, but it's just a tiny little corner. So lamination-wise, you get a pack of paper that they tell you you get 50 well they pull this one out in their video and say you get 50 well you don't you know you get a handful of these and then you get the rest of it in the big sheets which is fine I mean it's, it's you're paying for it um, for cold lamination it does pretty good I mean I just stick this in here I guess I would say for crafters, I can't see this being a win. 
because you know you got this little handheld clicker corner rounder that does not give you any option but a very small corner and I'm not going back after another bag now this will cut these down but all of them all paper cutters do to different sizes so I'm just going to run this little scrap through here to show you now if anybody that has a laminator you know go cook dinner and come back it'll be through in a few minutes <laughs> Look how slow it goes. I guess I'm just used to my other laminator just zipping it right through there. I like that it's cold. Um, when I first started using it, this wouldn't cut both ways. Okay, I'm happier now that it does. I don't like that you don't have much space for measurements because that's not going to help with the things that I craft with. Um, and I really, really am totally disgusted with this. You know, I read this stupid instruction booklet three times looking for ways to work the corner rounder and never does it ever mention the corner rounder. I had to go to YouTube and look for a video on this machine and find that this just slides off one of these and it slides back in and you just click your little heart away and get a tiny little corner so yeah um, use your own judgment is it something you can use is it something you would be using more than your old one in your crafting I'll use it maybe I no I'm sorry I think I'm gonna send this back I'm sorry I have to be honest I'm sending it back it's not what I is not what I spent the money for and in the description they did not say this pulls out of the bottom it's just a little cheap clicker and the wave is not a wave it's a, a serrated edge um, it's just a tiny little and it's a tiny little it's everything small everything it does is small and it's slow in the feed so, and I had to switch it to cold lamination and still right now this sucker is hot it is burning but on hot it's really bad I could not touch the surface on hot but on both ends right now on cold lamination it is hot so it's, it's not something I want sitting on my desk to work with with you know these mats or anything else papers or anything because it is it is really almost to the point where you don't want to touch it now yeah the metal on here is hot too no it's going back so that's my honest review guys I'm sorry but I was really excited about this and I feel so let down but it's going back so thanks for watching maybe I'll find a better one and do another review see you later bye